Hi, my name's Shelby and today I'm going to be taking part in a virtual open day at BCU, which I'm pretty sure is just going to involve me being sat in front of a computer in my comfy clothes with unlimited access to snacks and cups of tea all day, which pretty much sounds like the perfect Saturday to me. Okay, so even though I only woke up about 20 minutes ago, I'm pretty much set for the day. So I should be getting an email in a couple of minutes. This is just the email I received after I registered for the day. So it just says, thanks for registering. Hi Shelby, it tells me I've signed up for the event, what time it will run. So we're looking at 9 a.m. till 4 p.m. I put down the subject area I was interested in, which was criminology. And now I'm just waiting on an email, which should send me a link to the day. So yeah, I'm just ready to receive my email. Okay, so this is just what the email looks like. It says your virtual open day is here and then we just have a link to start the day. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is basically just have a quick look through at what my like options are, what to do. The first thing I see coming up is the welcome talk. Okay, and then I can search by my course. So I originally um, registered my interest for criminology. However, I do wanna just see, just in case you know you register for you something and you're like, I don't feel like that anymore. I want to see if I can access the stuff for other courses. So I'm just going to search. Let's do, uh, let's do digital media. Let's do digital media computing. Let's see if that comes up. Yeah, and it does. Being able to look at all the other subjects um, is, is really useful, actually. Let's go back and have a look at what else we can do. So we've got some live sessions as well which I think will be really interesting to have a look at what they're like and yeah there's still like an outline for the day so I'm gonna have a quick look through see what sessions I want to take part in and kind of like plan my own day okay so just before this talk gets started let me just turn them down for a second so this is the first live talk this one is student finance and we have a couple of people here just hosting it. Let's have a quick look at what they cover. I'm hoping that people are gonna get like a chance to ask questions as well at the end, because I think that's a really important part of an open day. So yeah, let's see what happens. <laughs> what we're going to do is we're gonna do a presentation on student finance, try and inform you about all the aspects of applying for it, the application process, uh, details about funding your studies. Um, once we finish the presentation, then we will work through your questions that you might have, try and answer those for you as best as we can. Okay, so I just finished up watching that first live Q&A session. I really liked it, I thought it was really useful. It had like a presentation and then there was also like a question and answer segment at the end, which I think is like a really nice way to do it. So I'm actually like a really big fan of doing it like this because you can just type it in the chat box and write it as a message. So I really like that. And also you can see like the questions other people have and it kind of makes you think about stuff you haven't thought of yet. So uh, yeah, I really like that first talk. Let's have a look what's next. <laughs> okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is a subject specific talk. And I believe I mentioned this earlier, but when I registered for the day, I put down my interest as being for criminology. And there is a subject specific talk for criminology at 10.30. So that one is just about to start. I'm hoping it's gonna be very similar to the uh, finance one I watched earlier, like a pre-plan presentation with then a Q&A session, um, because I think that's a really nice way of getting all the information across. So yeah, that's just about to start and that's what I'm doing next. Hello everyone. Welcome to our Criminology and Policing virtual open day event. My name's Keegan and I'll be hosting this session today. Okay, so this talk actually has a bunch of people in it. We have someone hosting, we have some lecturers, teachers and a student in here as well. So that's like a really good mix of like perspectives we're going to get. So Jonathan now is going to run through um, our courses. Okay, so it looks like there's pretty much like a pre-planned presentation to start off with. So it's got like a bunch of slides on here. But I'm pretty much gonna take a little bit of a break and oh, <laughs> do you recognize that noise? Um, uh, I'm gonna watch Netflix as well, <laughs> just while I have some lunch. And then when I go back to the open day, I think I'm gonna um, have a look at some of the Canvas tour videos. So it looks like there are a couple of videos on here. We have BCU and the city, so there's a city related one. And then it looks like each of the um, buildings on campus has their own video as well. It has all of the building tours listed. I've been through and I've watched a couple of them. I am going to drop into, let's have a look at the Curzon building.
And what I would say is useful as well is to look at the buildings that like your subject like isn't in as well because part of being at uni you know you get to go to all the different um, buildings and not even that the different like campuses as well so having a good look at everything is a really good idea what I really like about these like Q&A segments like on the end of these presentations is that you can like ask questions by typing them in a like chat box and for me that is so much easier than like having to ask questions like in a big room full of people so having that little chat box there um, makes it really easy to ask questions and I'm also not too worried um, about having missed anything because I can always come back and have a look at the replays as well so that's a virtual open day that's how it works I really enjoyed it and I was actually really pleasantly surprised by how well it worked thank you for watching bye